Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of Game Hub Emulator which is the official Game Hub Lite by Emu Ready. I'll explain all of its features and we'll also be testing out Grand Theft Auto 5 Lite version of just 9GB inside Game Hub Lite. Now Game Hub Lite is a light version of Game Hub Emulator with all bloatware removed which makes it very fast and efficient. It is the best performing Windows emulator for Android devices in 2026 and we have just got a brand new update. Now you guys can see inside the Game Hub Lite the app size has been reduced it removes unnecessary permissions and it even works offline unlike the original Game Hub emulator. So technically it is also the safest version of Game Hub Android. Anyways you guys can see 2 days ago we got the Game Hub Lite 5.3.3 pre-release version which adds micro HD card support for Steam games based on Game Hub 5.3.3 which is really amazing which means you can use external cards or SSD to store your games inside the Game Hub Android. Along with that we also got Game Hub Lite 5.3.3 revision 1. So once you add the Game Hub Lite on your Android device, simply launch it after a tap on the agree button and it will launch just like the normal Game Hub emulator. One of the best things about Game Hub Lite is that it does not require you to log in inside the emulator unlike the original Game Hub version. The login system is very annoying because sometimes when Game Hub emulator server are down, it causes you to not be able to run the Game Hub emulator on your Android device. So inside Game Hub Lite you only get two main options the Steam as well as PC emulator. So from Game Hub original version the Xbox Cloud Gaming etc has been removed. Only two emulators have been left the Steam emulator as well as PC emulator. To set up PC emulator tap on import PC games allow this permission. Go back and go to the folder where you have stored your own PC games such as GTA 5 Lite version. So here I'll just go ahead and go to GTA data and select play GTA 5. Tap on the confirm button and here we go our game has been successfully imported. Now if you simply tap on settings for the PC emulator settings, make sure to add all the stuff such as firmware etc by tapping on this button. You'll need to select all the important stuff from right here. So first of all we have started adding firmware. Now we'll go to compatibility layer and choose the Proton 10.0 x64 after simply tap on this button. If you don't want to manually do all of this, you can do simple step which is to just launch the game and Game Hub Emulator will automatically add all the environment and firmware stuff. So here you guys can see it is choosing the best Proton version for Wine and then it will choose the appropriate DXVK wrapper, graphics driver etc. But I'll show you guys the best settings in just a bit once all of this has been set up. Once your game starts you can simply swipe back and end the game then go to PC game settings. Afterwards here are the best settings that I'm about to show you guys. So in terms of game resolution go with 800 by 600 because GTA 5 Lite version lags quite a lot even on high-end devices. Afterwards go to the compatibility section translation parameters make sure to choose the extreme translation parameters so let's wait for them to load. Now tap on extreme after tap on the confirm button and then go back. In terms of GPU driver you can use any graphics driver which is best supported for your Android device. For Snapdragon 8 Elite go with the 8 Elite graphics driver and for Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or below go with the Turnip 26.0.0 driver. For today's video I'll go with Qualcomm 842.19 graphics driver as the device which I am using has a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. In terms of DXVK version go with 2.6.1 asynchronous Wicked A3D keep it as default and in terms of CPU translator go with the latest January build of fix. Once that's done you have successfully applied all the best settings that are required to run GTA 5 Lite version inside the Game Hub Lite Windows emulator for Android. Now all you have to do is launch game. And after waiting for around 5 minutes because it takes about 5 minutes for the GTA 5 black screen to go inside the light version, you guys can see our game has successfully started. We'll simply swipe back, go to the performance monitoring, make sure that the native rendering has been disabled. You can also disable the frame limit, afterwards go to settings, make sure to enable full screen. And in terms of controls you guys can see all the settings right here. With all of that out of the way you guys can see our game has successfully started and it is running extremely smoothly inside the Game Hub Lite version. You guys know that I have tried GTA 5 Lite many times inside the normal Game Hub emulator and this experience is completely different. On my Game Hub Lite emulator I am getting really good FPS compared to the original Game Hub emulator you guys can see about 45 to 60 FPS. But honestly uh, whatever I am feeling right now while playing this game on my Android device I feel like the gameplay experience is much more smoother. Performance wise the Game Hub Lite emulator is doing very well compared to the original Game Hub emulator and this is the normal version of Game Hub Lite by the way. There used to be also Game Hub Lite and Tutu version so I am not using that version in today's video. Anyways that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below which more games do you want me to test inside the Game Hub Lite emulator so you guys can 
see the performance of this emulator for yourself and how it works in many PC titles not just GTA 5. That's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.